In this video, we're going to talk about how to utilize level of detail in our documentation, as well as the general purpose of using a level of detail effectively for proper performance inside of our software. So here I have a using level of detail IDW from our working files directory. Now, eventually we're going to be placing in a view with a specified level of detail into this drawing. But for now, I'm going to perform an open command and choose the level of detail IAM. However, I'm just going to select it. I'm not going to double click on it. When the file has been selected, you can choose the options button next to the open button and specify how you would like to open up this particular assembly. You can open it up into the express mode directly. You can also choose different positional representations as well as our focus here, which is the level of detail representation. I'm going to open this one up into master. Choose OK, and now choose the open button. So this will load all the components into memory. I'm going to process the updates for the assembly as well by choosing yes. And here we have a massive air conditioner. Now I have another level of detail called internals off, which will turn off all the plumbing fixtures on the inside of this. So I'm going to close this assembly. And before I accept to close it by saying yes, notice in the lower right, we have 2740 on the total number of occurrences. I'll just choose yes there to save it during the close. Now I'll go back and reopen it. Click on options. And this time, choose internals removed as a level of detail to open into. Choose OK, and then open. Now the loading process went a tad faster this time. I have only 1319 on the total occurrences now because those internals have been suppressed. So I was able to load into this a little bit faster. Now I would still consider this a pretty small assembly. It is large in nature. There's a lot of size to it, but doesn't have a lot of components. You can definitely tell where level of detail really pays off when you have a very large count to your total number of components as well as a large amount of detail to those components. Now I will jump back over to the IDW file tab on the bottom of the screen and start a base view command. Here I still have the using level of detail open in my memory. It's the last file I had open, therefore it becomes my default here on the file selection. You will also notice that the current level of detail is also set based on currently what it was in that assembly. I'm going to choose a right side view here for the orientation and change my scale here. One divided by 40, let's do one by 30, a little bit bigger. I have a partial bounding box and I'll just place in these additional views. This one will go outside the border a little bit, that's okay. I'll right click and choose create and generate my views for this drawing. If I need to change the level of detail for one of these views to something other than the internals off level of detail, I can do that as well. I'll simply double click on the view and choose master for the level of detail. And we'll let that finish loading. If I look at the other views, namely the one in the front here on the bottom and double click on that, notice how it's also been changed over to master. If I change back to internals removed, it also does that for the children views. So if you need to have two different views of different representations, you might have to place in more than one base view of that component. So here I'll delete this view in the upper right, choose OK to delete that, place in another base view with the master representation, choose my ISO top left, right click to create to bring in the master view in that orientation. So this has been a look at how to utilize level of detail in our documentation, as well as during the opening process 